You guys, I just got done watching the Pinterest webinar that they had today here in July and how it's designed to introduce us to crafting the perfect holiday campaign for your brand as early as possible. They reflected and noted that it has been quite a start to the 2020s with going through unprecedented global pandemic, political unrest, as well as mixed and poor sobering realities. Adults are spending 50% of waking hours online. And more than ever, people are saying that being online makes them feel disconnected from themselves and their interests. People feel sucked in, burned out, anxious from social comparison. Given the realities of a heavy news cycle and negative messaging on many platforms, people have often turned to Pinterest for a much needed break from scrolling through not so good news. Pinterest is viewed as a place to discover and be inspired. Pinterest wanted to learn why people turn to Pinterest, what specifically feels good about the platform. And what they found was that Pinterest is a different social media platform, building a more positive place on the internet where you can find things you actually love, where creators can be known for expertise, not celebrity, and where you can plan for an amazing holiday celebration with your friends and your family. In fact, a recent study by the Nielsen shows that Pinterest is the number one place for people to go for inspiration online and offline. So Pinterest decided to take a look at how to move people toward decisions on the platform. They found on Pinterest that 97% of searches are unbranded. People come to Pinterest to plan and do without even making up their mind about what to buy. Pinterest drives 10 times higher branded searches off the platform. That's a trigger moment that happens on Pinterest. Inspirational environments actually help people make up their mind. We call, or they call that decision, behavior, a new ROI or return on inspiration. So how does this impact the way you should be thinking about the holidays this year as a marketing person? Well, Pinterest shared that what they learned from 2022 season, they researched and highlighted really one important thing, that the holidays will be different this year. The holidays will be more expansive, more personalized, and more dynamic than ever, because the past few years have forced people to reinvent the way that they plan and celebrate the holidays. They have expanded their definition of what a holiday means. People are looking for new ways to bring fresh joy to their traditions and personalize their holiday plans to suit their needs. While all of this reinvention may have started as a necessity, it's now become the norm and people like it to giving them permission to design, plan, and celebrate their holidays in the best way for them. All of that means that the need for holiday inspiration has never been greater. They shared video of what pinners had to say about planning the holidays. And what pinners have shared were, quote, Pinterest allows me to visualize ideas that I have in my mind. Quote, I have categories for Christmas baking, Christmas dinner ideas, Christmas party ideas, Christmas outfit ideas for those days when I'm going to events, unquote. Quote, Pinterest offers some environmentally conscious and budget-friendly opportunities to decorate your home for the holidays without breaking the bank, unquote. Quote, Pinterest really inspires me to not only find great gift ideas and try new brands, but I also feel like I'm just becoming a better host. Go on there and see something I like, and then it's exactly what I've been looking for, unquote. Quote, Without Pinterest, I also wouldn't have been able to do things like hold my annual friends miss at new, my new place. And I think a way, in a way, it kind of helps me get a bigger view of what's possible for home decor, secret Santa gifts, and even holiday snacks and meals, unquote. One pinner said, I was inspired to get a black Christmas tree and who would have thought it would look so kind of neutral, but yet something unique. And in a way, it's something I can also use for Halloween. So it's got a dual purpose and creates a specific, oh, and I create a specific list, my best friends to start adding things to whatever I'm looking for. 
What pinners shared about Pinterest is that they are really excited to celebrate more holiday moments of all sizes, like big moments and a lot more of those small intimate moments. And they've already started planning many of those moments, uh, celebrations on Pinterest, which means that there are even more opportunities for you to reach them and boost your holiday sales. Pinterest research shows that shoppers on Pinterest are optimistic about the 2022 holiday season. They're excited to get back out and into the world, and they look forward to the return of the larger and more traditional celebrations that they've always enjoyed. But they also really like their newer traditions and the smaller mini moments that they've created over the past two years, and they plan to keep them and then maybe even add some more. 82% say that they expect to create a se and celebrate more smaller moments this holiday season. Pinterest research also validated that new traditions have taken a hold of the past two years as the pandemic gave people permission to design and celebrate their holidays in their own way, which people on Pinterest really have embraced. Research shows that pinners were 60% more likely to create a new holiday tradition with close friends and family, which has caused an explosion of smaller, unique holiday moments on Pinterest. And while the traditional holiday makes the season memorable, it's these really many small moments that make the season truly special. Those smaller moments range from seasonal traditions like parties with friends or coworkers to tree decorating or holidays. They are culturally meaningful celebrations and important personal moments like a holiday engagement or a baby gender reveal. If you have services or products that can help people celebrate in small as well as large and traditional celebrations, make sure that you are marketing to those people on Pinterest. Include Pinterest in your marketing is a no brainer and provides an amazing return on your investment of time on social media. It is far, far better than any other social media platform. Pinterest helps connect with customers in a hyper relevant way. And it also is a great opportunity to expand on traditional audiences that lead into adjacent categories. Pinterest is the number one destination when it comes to holiday inspiration and inspiration is indeed the new influence. Holiday shoppers say that their top place for inspiration and motivation during the holidays is Pinterest. And this translates into purchase influence. One of the five holiday shoppers said that the content on Pinterest inspired at least half of their holiday purchases last year, half. Pinners rely on Pinterest to find what's new or new to them. And Pinterest then went into, in this webinar, into more depth on shoppers on Pinterest. First thing that they mentioned is how Pinterest shoppers are different from shoppers on other platforms. They are always shopping. And what's really noticeable is that they spend more time, like twice as much time as compared to other platforms. Basically, they're super shoppers. Plus they buy more each time they shop. And shoppers on Pinterest had 85% larger baskets at checkout, which is a pretty incredible stat. And last but not least, Pinterest is the most efficient channel overall for generating incremental conversions. How efficient, you might ask? Well, 30% more is what Pinterest said. Pinterest heard from shoppers that Pinterest brings the best of online shopping offline, which is nearly twice as high as the number of people who use other social platforms. What's really interesting is that a lot of early industry forecasts are predicting a return to the brick and mortar shopping. And 87% of shoppers who use Pinterest say that it's a valuable complement to in-store shopping. And that's 85% higher than what people say about other platforms. That blew my mind. Another area where Pinterest beat out the competition is in personalization. Personalization matters more than anything when it comes to shopping. And when Pinterest looked at shopping data through the holiday lens, what they noticed about people on Pinterest is that not only do they love to shop, but they also love to gift. It turns out 90% use it for gift giving ideas. I know I have. <laughs> Here's a big note that not many people realize. Research shows people on Pinterest start shopping, holiday shopping early. The majority of pinners start their holiday shopping, including gifting purposes before Thanksgiving. And Pinterest looked at data and found that interested or that shoppers are pretty unique. They go to Pinterest to find gifts, 
based on who they're shopping for. And notably, they are open-minded about brands or products. So for brands, this is really the perfect opportunity to reach active gift shoppers while they're undecided. All this in mind, they've been working hard to create a wide range of surfaces that allow brands to reach pinners at different points of their shopping journey. There's the shop tab from search, helping pinners go right to shop mode as they search for ideas. There is product tagging on standard pins via your Pinterest app on cell phones and helping to make any pin instantly shoppable content and move Pinterest inspiration to action. They have a try on which gives pinners the ability to virtually try on makeup such as lipstick and eyeshadow from the comfort of their couch and pinterest is also continuing to introduce new products with feedback from partners recent examples of product that they just launched is the shopping list people are already saving ideas and products they love on pinterest and we know that there are over seven times more likely to purchase those products that they've saved with shopping list this allows pinners to save product pins automatically in one place, making it easier for them to come back and then shop again. There is also an integration app, WooCommerce Now. Pinterest shared how to create your media plan as you prepare for the holiday season. And something that you should always remember is that pinners are planners. In fact, pinners start planning shopping and buying early for the holidays. The holiday gifting searches are already happening on Pinterest already and it's July and all of that shopping happens between July and September or that early shopping. So you should start pinning products and services for the holiday season right now. To summarize, by now you've heard loud and clear that the holidays will be different this year. They'll be more expansive and they'll also be more personalized and more dynamic than ever, which means that the need for holiday inspiration has never been greater. And here are four main takeaways from this webinar. People come to Pinterest open-minded and they leave decided. Pinterest is 10 times more efficient at driving consideration. In 2022, we'll have more holiday celebrations, big and small, which means there are more opportunities for you to reach shoppers on Pinterest and boost your holiday sales. And last, pinners are start, starting to plan their holidays early on Pinterest, and they're buying gifts for everyone in their lives. We've seen planning move into high gear, and posting between July and September will help to really jumpstart your marketing. If you want help with your business on Pinterest or want to find a strategy to include Pinterest in your marketing, my Pinterest Strategy Academy is perfect for you. I'll put the link below, but you can find out more information at PinterestStrategyAcademy.com. And thanks so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye.